Thank God it's Wednesday. Uh, I hope everybody's uh, fine and, 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 and everything is just fine. It's a beautiful day. The rain is not here. And uh, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, uh, it's just, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it feels like about 70 degrees, maybe 65 degrees. It's just beautiful. And uh, so many exciting things that happened in history on today's date, uh, May 12th. Uh, in 1820, Florence Nightingale was born. The famous Florence Nightingale. She's from Florence, Italy. And this woman is the woman that, that started training, formal training for nurses. So our hats are off to Florence Night, Nightingale for uh, her work training uh, women. I mean, do you really want a, an overweight, burly, uh, bull in a china shop, man, uh, unshaven, perhaps unshowered, changing your bedpan? Of course not. You want a young, beautiful nurse with tight skin and a beautiful personality and an eagerness to help. And uh, this is what Florence Nightingale started uh, in Florence, Italy, back then in uh, 18, uh, 18, uh, 20. There were many, many uh, wars going on, skirmishes, you name it. Uh, we have one almost every day in history uh, on this presentation. So uh, she was treating soldiers from this battle and this skirmish and this conflict. And, uh, and, and that's how I guess she got involved in nursing. Uh, these win uh, wounded soldiers needed to be taken care of. And Florence Nightingale did so and did so with great zeal and founded as we know today, uh, uh, actual college, nursing colleges. Uh, my oldest sister, Marianne, attended a nursing college when she was uh, coming up. So uh, thank God for nurses. Thank God for uh, uh, Florence Night, Night, Nighting, uh, Nightingale. <laughs> uh, in 1846, uh, this was uh, the day uh, that um, the Donner Party uh, set out from uh, Independence, Missouri. Their final destination was California, but this was no party at all. Uh, they got stuck in the Sierra Nevada uh, mountainous area, you know, up near Reno probably, maybe it was over near Yellowstone, uh, Northern California area, you know, between Nevada and, and California as we, we know today and they got they got lost or they got uh, they got uh, uh, snowed in terrible weather and uh, they wound up eating one another now I don't know the particulars of this you'll have to google it yourself I don't know if they uh, ate the sick ones but who would want to eat somebody who's sick uh, maybe they picked the weakest one, but then again, how good could the meat be on a man or a woman who's sickly or weak? So it would make sense to uh, eat the strongest one, the one that's been fattened up a bit. But then again, you'd need those people to do the work and perhaps make the survival onto California. Uh, so uh, maybe they already perished from the snow or the cold or whatever happened to them. Uh, and they ate the perished bodies. I'm not sure how the uh, the menu went, but uh, certainly it was a tragic uh, uh, chain of events. Uh, uh, I'm not even sure if, I mean, the last one, did he eat everybody and then he ate himself? I'm not sure. You, this is something you're gonna have to look into, uh, the Donner Party. Uh, and. Uh, I guess uh, somebody was eating good and somebody was not eating so good. And that was in 1846, the famous uh, Donner Party. And in 2008, a little bit more morose news, sorry to tell you, in 2008, a terrible 7.8 or 7.9, the Chinese have it clocked at 8.0, earthquake struck the Xuxian uh, region of China and killed 90,000 people. Devastated whole towns were flattened. Uh, over 5,000 school children lost their lives. Evidently they were in the classroom when the, the quake hit. 
over 200. Up here's a strong wind. I don't know if you can hear me. I've got to get this mic'd up. I got to get that furry thing on the mic. Uh, maybe I'll just wait a few seconds and let the wind subside. Maybe I'll wait a, a few seconds and let the wind subside. Anyway, it was a terrible, terrible earthquake. And uh, over 5,000 children were killed. Over 200 aid workers were killed because you know when these earthquakes hit, they cause, uh, as we know, uh, tsunamis. But when they hit on land, they, uh, dams are damaged. Uh, they cause flooding. Uh, landslides are caused. Flash floods. Uh, a whole host of natural disasters are caused by earthquakes, whether it's a tsunami coming from an ocean or a body of water or uh, a land earthquake. This, this earthquake, this particular earthquake was centered about 11.8 uh, 11 miles below the surface of the earth or 19 uh, 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 kilometers, uh, kilometers, I'm sorry, uh, 19 kilometers for our Canadian, European, and the rest of the world. Anyway, it was a horrible, horrible earthquake. Can you imagine a 7.9 or 8.0? Yeah, it's, it's devastating. Anyway, those are some of the exciting things that happened on today's date. And I've got something exciting for myself. I received a package today, and I am very, very excited about this package. Uh, I know this package was going to be a, arriving, and uh, I know it's my name on it. It's uh, every day, uh, and I'm going to open it I'm outdoors, so in case there is a, a foul up or a, a criminal activity, I won't be uh, risking my residence in the event that something goes south. Uh, but I know, I think I know what it is. I'm not sure. Behind me is a sunflower, uh, a sunflower. No, it's an oak tree. Can you imagine? Look at the size of this oak tree. I saw this oak tree. I said, ah, oh, this is my background today. Look at the size of that tree from the famous song. Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. It's been three long years. Do you still miss me? Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. Go get on the bus. Forget about us and put the blame on me. And tie a yellow ribbon round the old, the old oak tree. And here it is. Here it is. Holy cow. Thank God for China. Straight from China. This is it. This is the passenger side directional for the truck. Thank you, Victor Simmons from uh, Tahunga, California. He was nice enough to surf the net. Uh, I want to thank my friends from Canada, John. He was, uh, he gave me the information I needed. I passed that along to Victor Simmons. And this was made in Taiwan. Taiwan is a Chinese uh, offshoot. Still, uh, China still uh, considers that part of China. And thank you, Taiwan, and everybody else that made this possible. There it is. And it comes with two screws for easily, easy installation. All I need is a bulb. Maybe it comes with a bulb. I bet it comes with a bulb. You think it comes with a bulb? Let's see. Maybe the bulb's already in there. I can't tell. Anyway, thank you, Victor Simmons. Thank you, John, from, uh, I believe it's Ontario, Canada. I want to thank this massive oak tree behind me. And I want to thank everybody for all their assistance in getting this truck uh, done. So in closing, we had uh, uh, Florence Nightingale. Thank you. Thank you all the hardworking nurses. You've done more than you'll ever know. Uh, in 1846, the Donna, uh, Donna Party, uh, please bring your own napkins and spoons, forks and knives. And in 2008, the massive earthquake in Shunan, China, 7.9. So have a great rest of the Wednesday. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. I know this tree is excited. Unbelievable oak trees. I love an oak tree. I think everybody does. Get on the bus and forget about us and put the blame on me. 
I'll tie a yellow ribbon round the old, the old oak tree.